Before I start, this is a major spoiler warning for a movie that is now more than 20 years old. In case you have not seen The Sixth Sense, I highly recommend that you go watch it before watching the rest of this video. So, a while ago I did an analysis of the musical score from the ending scene, the big plot twist from The Sixth Sense. And while I was working on it, there were a few bars of music that really jumped out at me, but they sound like this. I don't really know why these bars jumped out at me, but they did. And so, shortly thereafter, I initiated a search into the score to see if this motif appeared any other times in the score. And wouldn't you know, lo and behold, it appears about nine other times throughout the score for a total of ten statements of this motif. But the thing I immediately noticed about its uses in the film is that it seemed to hint at the famous plot twist at the end of the film. Let me explain. What I noticed when looking at the uses of this motif was that they all had to do with the character of Malcolm, or rather the physiological state of Malcolm, with maybe one exception. And I think it has to do with the fact that he is dead. I think this is because there seems to be one idea that connects them all besides the main titles, and that idea is death. Consider its use in the beginning. It occurs as Malcolm remembers Vincent's name. Vincent. I am. I am a freak but it's shortly after this that Vincent shoots Malcolm and promptly kills himself. Here, the motif's association with death is established. Consider the next use of it in the film. Malcolm is walking home alone in the dark. When he enters the house and announces his arrival, his wife does not acknowledge him. We now know this is because Malcolm is not alive, but the music seems to hint at this fact, even in a first viewing. The music has associated itself with death already, and therefore subtly gives us the reason that Malcolm is not acknowledged, because he's dead. As Malcolm listens in on a conversation later, the music is used in a very similar fashion. The reason his wife is even considering talking to this other man is because her former husband, Malcolm, is dead. That motif plays during this conversation, again subtly letting us know that Malcolm is not alive. But I think it's this next scene that really puts the nail in the coffin. When Cole says, I see dead people, that motif plays. They don't see each other. They only see one. Now, I suppose it could just be associating itself with Cole because, well, he sees the embodiment of death, but that wouldn't really fit with the rest of the uses in the film. The motif is almost exclusively played over Malcolm, and I don't think it's any different here. I think this motif is here to tell us that Malcolm is one of those dead people. And, yeah, that might seem like a bit of a jump in logic, but bear with me. Its next use in the film plays after Malcolm remembers these words from Vincent. Do you know why you're afraid when you're alone? I do. I do. This motif seems to tie us back to the opening scene of the film, but more than that, I think it ties us back to the feeling of being alone. Malcolm has been alone throughout most of the film, save for his interactions with Cole. And why is Malcolm alone? Because he's dead. Now, the motif's final use before the last scene occurs here as Malcolm and Cole visit the funeral reception of Kyra. It isn't specifically played over Malcolm, but it does again play itself over that very important theme, death. It 
plays over the people's dialogue about the death of Kyra. To me, the use of the motif here seems to be one final hint that its use over Malcolm earlier in the film tells us that he's dead. And of course, its final use in the finale of the film plays over his realization that he's dead. Or more specifically, what caused his death, a bullet through the stomach. Okay, okay, I get it. Maybe this all seems like a stretch. I mean, there are very obvious moments in the film where the motif could have been used, but wasn't. I, I get that. I know each individual use of the motif doesn't really seem like much, but stepping back and looking at the full picture of its uses, I think it becomes pretty clear for me. For me, it just doesn't seem to work any other way. And to tie it back to my original thesis, because this death motif is played over Malcolm so many times, and at very key moments, I think it's James Newton Howard's very clever and subtle way of hinting at the plot twist at the end of the movie. It's psychological film scoring at its very finest, and goes right along with what I've been stressing for a while now. Stick to the story. Now, I, I don't know, maybe everyone's already talked about this and moved on, as this film did come out before I was even born, but five pages deep into a Google search didn't really turn up anything. The only thing that even remotely related turned up was how the track listing on the soundtrack album spoiled the ending for many people when it first came out. But I don't know, I thought this was pretty cool and a good example and application of how to help tell a story with music, so I just, just kind of thought I'd share it. But anyway, if you like what I do and you want to support me in exchange for some nifty benefits, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit goes a long way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.